Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Spiral Reignited. So, uh, last time we did 61% of the first Spiral game, and leaving off just before Treetops. So, also you might notice um, that was clearly not Spiral. Um, I forget what this guy is called. The, well, what this character is called. I think it's like Foo Foo or Boo Boo or something. I don't know. I thought it was hilarious. We're just going to go with this character because I thought it was hilarious. They still breathe fire. Just like Spyro. Also, um, the completely normal suit that this character is wearing. Completely normal. Nothing weird about it. Definitely not inspired by Trump. Uh, did I get the life forward? I think I did. Also nice of the game to actually keep my lives because I'm probably going to need them. Alright, treetops. I'm probably gonna have to look this up at some point during the stream because this, this stage sucks. Son of a bitch! Get back over here, you! Dang it! No! Where'd that little jerk go? Back here, you son of a bitch! No! Alright, we might have to take this a little not as recklessly. You appear to be stuck in a glitch. Let me help you with that. Oh, just kind of left. This isn't even the hard part of the stage. Pon Pon, that's the name. Pon Pon the Bon Bon, I think. But yes, you notice how Lyle there said that uh, we should not stop at one supercharge. In order to get everything in this stage, we're going to need to use several of them. 
and not miss. Jump. I know that jump is doable. Why? Okay, am I thinking about this incorrectly? There's something about this particular mod that's going to make this not doable. Camera, please. Okay. Are we gonna cooperate now? There we go. And there was a lockbox there, which we could have easily gotten if I had known that was a thing. I don't remember everything about this stage, I just remember that some parts are gonna be real tough. Don't think that glide is makeable. Well, maybe it is, because I don't think there's any other way to get uh, to get anywhere here. I'm thankful for the fact that at least there is um a mini map. It can give you a much better visual idea of how you're supposed to chain everything together. The burn maze. I like the copious amount of level of uh, level ups. The copious amount of uh, extra lives. It's like, good luck, you'll need it. Wait a minute. Surely that's not the only way to get anywhere else, right? I might be able to get over... Oh geez. Careful there. Might be able to get over here. Yeah, there we go. The, like, one of the big problems with this stage is how hard it is to actually navigate. Like even once you figured out the path to take to get everything, it's just such a long and treacherous path. I think I've been that way. Yeah, there we go. I haven't been this way. Well, I have been this way, but like... I was chasing that thief. So there's a lockbox taken care of. Alright. 
What do you got to say, Isaac? Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Now let's test that. Yeah, that definitely went farther than it would have. So I think we need to ramp off of that to over there. Charge up this. And we can ramp off of that, but where do we go from there? We could potentially... Hmm. I am not sure. I never remember how to do this stage, so please bear with me. In the worst case, this is one where I'm going to, like, do the rest of the game and then look it up during break, come back to it after break. Oh, this was incorrect. I need to... From that, I need to... Need to hook this way. Alright. So from here, I need to um, turn right. Oh, let me. There we go. There may be someone in voice, or there may not. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay. Ah! Yep, that happened. Oh my goodness. The problem is these turns are kind of blind and you don't really get a good field of vision for, for what you need to do. And then what? There we go. That's one of them. Let's get rid of this son of a bitch. If the camera can keep up, jeez.
But that's not the only one we gotta do. As you'll notice, we still have a hundred gems left. And a dragon. Neither of which are here. Cool. I just completely missed that whirlwind. Now I need to remember how to do the other one. Fortunately, those gems have stayed collected, so... Okay. The first question is, can I actually make it to that platform? And I'm pretty sure the answer is supposed to be yes, but every time I try, that happens. So can't do that. Okay, am I just pressing late? Uh, like, what's going on? I'm sure this was how I did it before. Yeah, there we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. I forget what to do next. And just kind of veered off into nowhere. So yeah, I definitely am pressing late. That's what's happening. And then I press super early. This is just so finicky. Got it. Okay. Now what? That wasn't it. Oh boy. Nope. Like, what I'm finding is working for me is actually jumping, like, at a time when I end up kind of doing a, a double jump like that, and most of the time that works, this time it didn't. I don't know what I did differently. Yeah, I don't know, like, why it's not working most of the time. This jump is supposed to be a lot easier to make than I'm making it out to be. Oh, come on now! That made it! That was 
That was bad timing. Bad timing that I really shouldn't have had to worry about, considering this... Mm. Is there a lives code in this game? Because I am running out my lives something fierce. Ninety nine lives code. So pause the game first, and then I would ZR, ZL, ZR, ZL, up, 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 A. I mean. And R Z L Z R Z L up 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 A. Oh. Z R Z L no. Z R Z L Z R Z L up 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 A. Why is it not working? <laughs> Try with the keyboard. Three one three one W four times and left click. And to enter code, pause the game first. To remove a cosmetic code, simply input the code again. Okay, there we go, yeah. That time it worked. <laughs> I don't really care if anyone says, like, I'm cheating, oh no. Like, this... Treetops is dumb. Treetops is easily... The worst level in the original Spyro trilogy. <laughs> Made even worse with um, with the reunited, because I, I am consistently not making this jump. At least with the original, I could make that jump, and you know, then just have to worry about doing the rest of it. Yeah, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I really don't. Hmm. Like, I've made it a couple of times. There we go. I think that's my next move. Okay, I think I might have a better... Yeah, okay. That was incorrect.
I'm just gonna drop down here so that uh, I can go back to my checkpoint. So I remember one of the steps being I have to go like up a ramp. And it might be that one actually. Okay, that was that was me turning way too early. That's on me. Okay, so now this is my new enemy. I'm like 99% sure I have to actually reach that ramp. At the very least, I'm more consistently getting that jump. I didn't, I didn't this time, but I have a better sense of when I'm supposed to press the jump button. And it's actually after you've left the ground. Complete with. I wanted to see if there was anything like over in that direction that I could go to, but now, like maybe I'm remem maybe I'm remembering this wrong. That's not impossible. I also need to break this. Come to think of it. Maybe I can focus on breaking that for now. There. Let's not leave anything behind. And I would like for the um I would like for the big stash to be the last thing that I do in this stage. There we go. 
Okay. I don't know how I did that. I got a lot more height that time, though. I know that's what you're supposed to do. There we go. So now what? I think then I have to, like, jump off of here, hit that ramp over there, and that's going to be another thing. Because there's, like, three crazy things you got to do. Die, you son of a bitch. Actually, is that everything? Yeah, that is everything. Alright, I thought there were three things, but apparently there's only the two. Rescue Jed. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. So that's that stage done. And I never have to do it again until I inevitably replay this game on my own time. Because aside from that stage, it's pretty good. Anyway. <laughs> With that, let me uh, just take a very quick break here and I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So, now that we've uh, finished this monstrosity, let's go fight Blowhard. Should go a lot. Metalhead, that's who I, that's who I meant. Let's go fight Metalhead.
So when I was testing out this uh, this model, um, when I was uh, swapping out mods, uh, I noticed I noticed some weird movement stuff. Like it wasn't quite as responsive as the Spyro model. But now that I'm actually playing the game rather than just kind of moving around and being conscious of the way that uh, that Pompon here moves. It's yeah. There, there is no difference in um, in performance. Oh, you're metallic. Gotcha. Ow. Get out of here with your bananas. So, it kind of sucks that I've already taken two hits because there usually isn't a whole lot Three hits usually aren't a whole lot of um, of critters around to flame for health in boss stages. Let's see if I don't know if I got the gem for the other dude that got launched. Mutually assured destruction. <sighs> Lovely. Fortunately, right, right there. And it was a blue critter, which means Spyro's. Uh, well, Spyro. Uh, Pom Pom is back to full health. Alright, what do you have to say, Sadiki? Huh? That is your real name. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Is Attacking he? the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Also, I think we're not quite done with this place here, because if you look here, is it here or is it the other one? Somewhere down here, there is. Way through to the other side. I think that's it. Yeah, you see over there, there's kind of some bars missing. There's also kind of a platform right here. It's not exactly how you're supposed to do it, but hey. So gonna need that key. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything over here. And there should be a whirlwind somewhere around here. I think. But otherwise, there's not really much of a way to get out of here. Oh, there it is. And that whirlwind will also give us access to a couple of 
more gems. And an extra life, now that we really need them anymore. I think that's everything in this area. I'm taking a lot of hits around here, man. Don't like it. Wait. There's, I don't think there's anything on that platform now. Okay. It's pointing over here. Gotcha. So you can win this fight completely passively if you really want to. With the, with the dudes that Metalhead throws, and also the laser beams um, that he spits out, um, you can just kind of guide him to his own annihilation. Those gems on top there were more dudes for him to throw, but they automatically die if... Uh, if you defeat Metalhead. There we go. And it just kind of plops down and dies. Skill point acquired, we managed to defeat Metalhead without taking damage. without taking damage, again, from Metalhead. There's a cave behind there. I definitely want, gonna want to check that out. There's our return, our return home portal. Also, for some reason, this this over here is actually kind of tricky to get. There we go. It's not exactly hard, but it's not obvious either. And now we can go out here. Another gem here. A couple of gems there. Now our next goal. Okay. So we don't do that from here, we do that from over there. And there is obviously one glaring thing that we have not done yet this stage, which is open the lockbox. We should have our remaining 25 gems, but it had 24. What? Oh. <laughs> Sneaking in the grass there was our last gem. Home portal. Too many gems, too many gems. Indeed. Hey Tyrion, how you doing? Neat pawn pawn, by the way. It's our hero for today. Uh, so that's only one. So, if you'll recall, down one of these wells is um, our flight stage. So now I just have to find that again. Also, Ju Hi. Ow. Uh, was it 
this one? Might have been safe anyway. Yeah, there it is. Unfortunately, y'all missed me uh, stumbling around in um, in treetops to the point where I ended up using a 99 lives code. <laughs> What should I go for first here? Go for the water! Oh, that sucked. Another one there that I missed. Ah. I think I missed one. By the way, pressing L allows you to do that little maneuver. One plane left. Ah, oh, boy.
I don't know if it, if the one that I missed was forward or backward. You know what, this time I guess I'll miss a boat. Which I realize is not any better than missing a plane. Or maybe I'll just run, run into a wall. You know what, one of, one of the two. One or the other. Cool. Whoa. I'm not really sure what I ran into there, but uh, I kind of got jostled off horse and ended up face planting in the water as a result. Oh, come on. Okay, I need to start actually watching out for what I'm doing because I keep doing the same thing. And then I just missed that one. Cool. At least you don't lose any lives in, uh, in flight stages. And that holds true for the entire original trilogy. Can't really speak for any of the other games, because... Of the other games, I've played the GBA trilogy. And, like... A little bit of one other game. Okay. So I'm getting here with a lot more time. So that's good. Heard it. I don't I didn't see it. There it is. Ah <sighs> okay. Well I'm getting a, I'm getting more of a feel on how to do this. That's not nothing. Damn it. I think that's, uh, that's an acceptable miss. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to go back for this one. I'm going to turn around. And you're going to be right there. It did cost me time, though. 
I think what I what I need to do is actually go countercurrent to the uh, to the planes because otherwise it's, it's taking too long to reach them. Infamous Jewel Giggle, I see. <laughs> I think I missed one. Around uh, here, yeah, there, there you are. See, that one a lot easier. And the last one should be right over there. There we go. Plenty of time. I believe it is time for me to fly. Achievement unlocked. That might have been the skill point for that stage. In fact, let me check. Oh, there is no, uh, there is no time for another one. All right. But I did get an achievement, so I'm happy with that. All right. So that is everything in Beastmakers. So let's, uh... Go ahead and make our way over to the balloonist, which I think I might actually be going the wrong way. Come to think of it. Ow, I'm good at this. Ow. You jerk. Ugh. I do appreciate that using the live's cheat code doesn't actually um, disable achievements. Because, like, lives are... A, a lot of a lot of new platformers, especially 3D platformers nowadays, don't even have a live system, and this game only has one because the original did. It's not really an advantage, exactly. It's just less downtime. Yeah. Have been rescued. Yeah, no kidding. All of them so far. Jump in the balloon and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? Sounds good. Let's do it. Spin! So 8 out of 12,000 gems so far. Or was it 14,000? Hmm. So, fun fact, I have watched a challenge run of this game. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've watched a challenge run of like the original version of this game. Where the challenge was to beat the game without gliding. And uh, for a little bit, this is kind of where the run ended because um, like, there was not really a way that you could get to any of these platforms without gliding. And then... Um, 
And then the player actually learned about a trick that basically involves... Uh, let me see if I can remember this correctly. So... It's... You hold forward... Or... Like, it's more or less like that. Like... You jump, dash, jump again, and then dash, and you make just a little bit more of a distance. I don't think that's the case in the uh, Reignited version, though. Latif. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, it's, it's kind of an entertaining run, honestly. Um, if anyone is interested in watching that, it is uh, R.J. Waters 2 is the person who uh, who did that challenge run. Jacques, and there is our balloonist. If we really wanted to, we could go to the next world right now. But I think the uh, I think the goal here is like something like six thousand gems or something. So yeah, I have more than enough. Anyway, let's go deal with this jerk. And now you might notice those two guys are both big and metallic, so I can't do anything about them. But this cannon sure can. I shrink them down and I can charge them. They'll just stay like that because there's no one to bring them back to their full size. Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. That mouth movement was super weird. Anyway. Yeah, also I think I had to use the cannon on this guy, but uh... And the, this is uh, Pon Pon the Bon Bon. Never heard of Pon Pon the Bon Bon? Complete with uh, complete with their suit that is Definitely not ripped out of uh, the Tron series. Completely normal suit. What are you talking about? The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. All right, so that is all dragons found. It's also kind of interesting that the, like, the name of the stage can only exist on one side of the portal at a time. I saved Mazzy? What, what did I save Mazzy from 
doing or what I I don't know how I saved him as he out because you can't beat them doesn't mean you can't attack them finally someone <laughs> understands my desire for violence The Durg was called Mazzy. Oh. See, because of a joke in uh, in that same playthrough, the one where the where it was done uh, without gliding, uh, there was like a joke where he kept reading all of the dragon names backward, and so I end up mentally doing that myself. By the way, this wall is completely fake. And that's a skill point. These guys are fools. Flame them, and I'll make something happen in the world. In this case, lead to my doom. You're not allowed to just walk on thin air, jerk. I'm not sure what that did. Oh, okay. It brought down this platform so I can actually get up here. What are you guys still doing live? I'm I'm pawn pawn the bon bon and I'm ready to kill. Okay. Now I need to deal with you. There. Bye bye. Okay, and that leads to hot towers. That does that. Also, game doesn't look like. Well, I should hope not. I don't know why I did the last time you were here. I'm looking at the bitrate right now. I was broadcasting at 25-ish uh, hundred. Go. Yeah, up to that platform. Now how do I get up there? I realize I was like just up there. It doesn't necessarily mean I remember how I did it, because my memory sucked. That just put me here. I will be able to do 1080p whenever I'm able to upgrade my internet, which not anytime soon.
I was like, I could technically turn it up to 1080p now, but the problem is I'm not going to be able to put out any more data than I currently am. So it's just going to look... It's just going to look like potato quality. Just at a higher resolution. So there's just more potatoes. Anyway, let's go to Lofty Castle. One thousand and eighty potatoes. I mean, your your standards are higher than mine, Jewel. There's not much I can do about that. Yes, I know I'm doing fine. <laughs> Doesn't change the fact that your standards are higher than mine. I mean, also, ukulele was happening on a different computer entirely, which wasn't quite as beefy as this new one. And this this one could definitely stand to be a little beefier, but for the amount of money that I had available, it's pretty good. Anyway, I've been freeing some fairies here. Now I've freed all three of them. And they've all converged over here and uh, cast a whirlwind. Oh, I'm going to get over here. So that's the idea with this stage. Madada. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. You said it. Uh... <laughs> Now, around here, I want to say, yes, here it is. There is something very particular about this area, which once I'm not in danger, I'll uh, actually point it out. This, this spring box, this spring box right here, is the only red gem spring box in the entire game. And now it's gone. Oh, there's our lockbox. There's a keyhole there. Remember that. But where's the key? Over here, because that's because of this string of enemies that I'm gonna miss one from. There we go. Right, so I go through here, and then there's going to be a series of these dudes. And I should get all three fairies in both of the norks out of the way. So we can open up this whirlwind. 
get our key and rescue Useni or Inesu. Ah, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle too. See where it takes you. Also an interesting bit of trivia, anyone who's played the original the, the original version of this game is going to know that uh, the way that that line is delivered makes it sound like he's saying Lofty Castle and the number two, which at the very least suggests that there was a different naming scheme at some earlier point in the, in the development of the game. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Of course, the original game didn't have subtitles like this one, so whether they meant Lofty Castle also or Lofty Castle the second, um, nobody really knows. It's, you know, mysteries are okay. Eaterab. Thank you for releasing me. Releasing you from that nap you were taking. You sound like you just woke up. So we have one fairy. I'm gonna guess that the other two are probably up here. No? There's one there. Where's the other one? Oh, it's over there. There yes. That's all three of them. To leave any gems behind. That would be embarrassing. Goodness knows, everyone knows me. If I get even 1% embarrassed, I literally explode. Um, I'm trying to remember if uh, it. Exploded. Um, uh, that Looks like it might be death down there, so I'm not gonna risk that. I don't think there's anything over there. Oh! So I have one fairy so far, there's another one here. Mm -hmm. 
the other one is on that ledge. There we go. And that gives us access to the return home portal. We're not done yet, so at least get these gems. There we go. But now Sparks shall lead us to the remaining gems. There's a couple up there, which I guess I must have missed while I was doing my little uh, supercharge thing. So some gems right here. Kind of a jerk move there, Insomniac. Thank you. So that takes us to 385. Sparks, please. But over there. Can we inside somewhere? No. It's up here. There we go. 397, all right. Funny, you were real close to me here, so. That is 100% the level complete. All right, where shall we go next? So many options. By the way, these guys, now that I've defeated them once, will stay small. Just kind of as a thing of convenience, because it would be kind of annoying to have to deal with them every single time. That's Lofty Castle. Is there a stage over here? No, it's just Icy Flight. Hmm. We all know I'm going to do that one last. This one. Dang. It's my gamer cred. Yeah, like I had gamer cred anyway. Dang. Takes us back to Lofty Castle. Where is another stage? Well, there's another one over there, Dark Passage. Let's go do that.
All right. So these guys, as you can see, they will transform with the light. You want them to, if you want this guy to stop switching his light on and off, blame him. Naturally, he will come back, or flame recharge him. He will come back after a while, as you can see, but it will guarantee for a few seconds that uh, things won't change around on you at the worst possible time. Oh, hey, Isaac. The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. I'd rather pity the fools. Of course, with these demon dogs, uh, they are not metallic, so you can always clean them. Uh, yeah, I thought I had missed something there, but uh, hey. You gotta watch out for the uh, turtles, though, because they can bite if they're small. If, however, they are full size, they will start shooting missiles at you. Easy, sir. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome for being released. Uh, ow! Hi. I somehow didn't notice you there. That's on me. Hmm. There's a lockbox there. How do I open that? Or is that a lockbox? Or no, that's a strong box. No lock at all. No lock at all on this model. How do you open it? I do feel like the Jester's um, toggle their lights a lot, a lot slower than the original. Anyway, here's a return home portal, and uh, and another dragon, air cab. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Lork. That's me, all right. That's me, all right. Definitely not a dragon. Pon pon the bon bon. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff left, and you might notice there's something down there. So I'm going to nearly flub my jump. Now, fortunately, there's like street lights here, so these guys are going to stay shrimpy. Okay, they keep spitting fire even though they're small. Gotcha. That sucks. Alright. Fortunately, it can just kind of charge through here. 
not much of a care in the world. Line myself up correctly here for a nice knock him down. There we go. That's how you do that. I got Nelson Months. That is meant to be an exit, not an entrance. I don't think we can glide that. I saw something. Okay, now we we were, we were there already. Now what do you have to say, Harappa? Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty. But I'd really hate to be trapped in crystal again. Don't worry. The only one that's going to be trapped is him. So what you're saying is you're a coward. Yeah, if uh, if there are some peaceful dragons, that's perfectly fine, honestly. But there are definitely some dragons that are assembled as basically a military force. I feel like some of them might be able to pitch in here. help you but being in prison inside a gem really sucks. I, I guess you're not wrong too, Isabo. Thank you for releasing me. And that was the last dragon. And we should be able to make this glide. A lot of chaos happening over here. Let's make sure we're not in danger before we start getting all of the uh, actual treasure. There we go. That's how we deal with that strong box. Hopefully that's going to be the rest of the gems, but I don't think it is, because I'm not seeing anything that's going to take it off of a 4. We're going to end up at like 4 four ninety nine. Wow. Alright. You're missing one gem somewhere. And there it is. Alright. Good joke. And then I fell down here. Now I'd have to... Oh, maybe not. Let's see if I can find my way back to the return home portal. Or maybe I can die instead. That, that works too. Let's just exit the level. Whoosh. Adventure continues. Ninety two hundred. Yeah. 
Dang it. Okay, so... Where was the last one? Or the last regular stage? I think that's it over there. Up. Yeah, there we go. On to town. So we're gonna see a lot of these around here. You might be, uh, you might be saying, "Well, yeah, that's not really much of anything, is it? It's just a pile of garbage." Well, that pile of garbage, I cannot get assaulted by you, turns into that. And once it's turned into that, it stays that, even if you manage to. Um, destroy the actual wizard. Haha! -ha. Juke! Now you got this person here who just will not get out of the way. And there's gonna be a few of those too, so how do we deal with everything here? Well... Pon... Pon Pon gonna get the Bon Bon. And yes, we do actually need to go to that um, inanimate uh, pile of armor back at the start. There are some gems there too. See? And I think we got everything in this first part. Now we could come here with uh, some of the fire left over and get kind of a head start in destroying these guys, but that's not required. We'll, we'll get another. There, there's a few fairies to go around. Akasok. Hey Spyro, all dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. If I'm not mistaken, there are 80 dragons in the game. So we're getting we're getting to that number too. Dang, that ran out at exactly the wrong time. Let's 
smooch. And then this one is completely docile. Okay, I think that is part two done. Let's move on to part three. Ah! Also, note here, this looks like a ramp. There's land over there that we definitely cannot reach by gliding. I'm sure that's not going to come into play at all. Oh look, a supercharge ramp. Oh, just happened to open the way forward. That's a dragon. That's a jerk. And that's a fairy. Just there. This little treasure room that we're gonna loot. And let's see what uh, all the tool has to say. Hold your horns! Here comes Spyro. Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Yes, indeed. That is not going to be an easy fight, let me tell you. Alright, we are going to need some fairy fire for this. Another fairy there. You're definitely going to need as well. Good thing that you can't like overdose on fairy kisses or whatever the hell this is. Okay. So We still have one dragon and a lot of treasure left. Now some of that treasure is going to be right here. You'll notice, also, strong box. So how do we break strong box? Well, there's two ways. And I'm going to use the safe way, because I'm not silly. Well, I sometimes I am. But um, obviously the safe way is just blame it. You can also Na if if you can navigate your supercharge, you can um, kind of charge this box here and try not to careen off the edge. All right, well, uh, thanks for dropping my jewel. But now we do have some more gems to collect. 
And uh, speaking of trying to direct the supercharge, I'll just say this is usually where I would put down a save save if I was playing in an emulator. Not because you can die a lot. You usually don't die from this. But it might take you a couple of tries to get there. As you can see, I failed this time. But that is the intended solution on how to get over there. It's still not nearly as bad as true tops. Dang it. They see what I mean? Like, you put down a save state at the top of that ramp and you just save yourself having to run up the ramp again. There we go. Take this strong box there, drag him here on the park. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. You're damn right, I have. So, here's where it gets a little complicated. So, right now, you see all of these, uh, all of these inert. Um, armor sets. There is a mage at the top who's going to start animating all of them, and these are the kind that will just block your way. Um, if one ends up blocking my way, I have to leave the room and come back. Dang. Yeah, that's uh, that's going back a little too far. Fortunately, you come back like here, they'll all fall down. Nope, that's not going to do it. Especially since I'm running into everything. Nope. Mm. This is kind of tough to get through. Just a little bit. God dang it. At least you don't have to like go take a death somewhere in order for it in order to be able to try again. But I feel like that's also a thing that uh, they would totally end up doing. Uh, uh, freaking. Ah, uh, I was almost there. Oh, come on.
It also doesn't help that uh, just the reignited version does have some janky physics to it sometimes. Like, I didn't think I had made that. There we go. So now I get to kill this guy. Behind here is this fairy, who looks a little different, doesn't she? There is a reason for that. We now have fairy fire for the rest of the stage. There is no timer on this. Just make sure I haven't missed anything. I don't think I have. And now I can go back outside here. Like this. And that is the rest of the gems. I believe the return home portal is over here somewhere. Oh, that's not it. Is it outside? Oh, there it is. You know what? I feel like going into the return home portal. So that was the last regular stage of uh, this home world. So let's go fight this boss. And this boss definitely isn't nothing. Of course I need to figure out how to get there. Stage wasn't here. It's around here, sir. Can you please not? It's around here somewhere. There it is. So, we have completed the three regular stages in uh, Dreamweaver's Homeworld and are about to face Jacques. So that's going to have to wait until after the break, because it is that time. So, y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, excuse me, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and when we come back, we shall... Uh, take on Jacques, do one more flight stage, and then it's on to Nork Cove, and they're in Nasty Nork. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 